What up YouTube? Piston Slap here and uh, it's a 2015 Yamaha Striker I believe. Um, I'll just throw stats and stuff uh, throughout the video about the bike. Uh, it's a buddy of mine decided to let me borrow it again because if you didn't follow me on Facebook I actually done a review on this bike and I got up to the top of Bogus Basin which is where we're going again today. Um, only to find out that my batteries and my microphone had gone dead. So it was just basically a silent film of me riding this, which I mean it was kind of cool, but without sound, it's just it just ain't cool, man, to me. Not for you guys anyway. I want I want the best for you. So I told my buddy that last time I rode this, I drugged the holy crap out of the pegs on it. And uh, I told him this time I try not to do that as much. Don't mind, uh, you know, dragging a little bit, but. So if you guys are like, man, you don't know how to corner, yeah, I don't know how to corner, not on a cruiser. Well, sorry, <laughs> I already got one. Let's see if we can keep count, guys, through the uh, video of how many times I actually drank eggs. Ooh, man, listen to that thing run. Yeah, okay, so right there, guys, that was one of the things I didn't like about this bike was the, the gear change between one and two. When you're going down from second to first around a corner or something, this bike has a, a huge ratio change and it, it actually scares me. my buddy is like ride it like I stole it and that's that first gear so I should be in second gear right now guys peg oh fell I got my foot off the ground because I don't know it's scary so what's that we're up to three I believe what a beautiful bike, guys. Twenty mile an hour. You guys are wandering, racer red. If you follow him, that's where he hid uh, all his goodies up there. Hey, great, great, great. I don't know if it picks it up on there. This is a fun bike, guys. Get into that Yamaha Cruiser. Okay, touch the peg, touch the peg, touch a lot of peg. Kind of freaks me out, and then I'll get on my other bike and I'll be mentally screwed up because I'm like, going around this corner, I'm like, I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna drag, and I don't drag, I just... Just a mental thing. Pedal, 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 pedal. A decreasing radius turn guys right here you see it and hard accelerate and we got a medium left we have to chill out when we get up here to the bell me of that uh, old uh, muscle car when you're just manually shifting it through the gears and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just 
it's got a good sound, guys. Seat holds my butt like you wouldn't believe. It's like my wife does, I guess. Good tight grab, just ooh, right on my butt cheek, just holds it. I like, couldn't get out of it if I wanted to. Uh, I'm sure you guys are wondering by now, like, how is it for riding? Well, the ergonomics on it are fantastic. The view out the mirrors is fantastic. They don't vibrate and shake around and all that stuff. Um, it doesn't have cruise control, which... When are the manufacturers going to get that through their head that, you know, that's kind of something that all of us as riders want. Yeah, there's a bike. Hmm. Wonder who? It's probably behind me up there on the hill. Pavement change. Oh, scared the hell out of me, guys. Hear the bell dragging. If it was an everyday thing for me to ride this bike and drag peg, it wouldn't be such a deal. But it's just one of those things, man. I, I don't know. You guys that ride cruisers that do this on a daily. It's just it's like, holy crap. So something to always keep in the back of your mind, and I know I'm doing a horrible job at it right now, but when you go through a corner, when you touch that peg down to the ground, the worst thing you could do is let off the throttle. And the reason I say this is when you let off the throttle, that back tire and the suspension actually all compresses and will actually drop your ground clearance. So it will drag more than peg or a whole lot more or maybe even a frame. You don't want to do that. Don't feel any vibration. Well, I mean, compared to what I ride, the grips and everything, nice and smooth, they are big. It's like that to that. I'm used to holding on to like a pencil. Now I got a big black thing in my hand I'm holding on to. We'll leave that one there for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Getting it. You guys are probably looking at me like, dude, the guy's on a freaking cruiser all leathered up like he's on a sport bike. I uh, know, guys. Don't laugh at me. Hey, hey. You know, let you guys listen to the bike, get a good sound of it, because not all of you are going to ride it like I'm going to ride it. You might just cruise with it. You want to know what it's like you know, to be up cruising a mountain road that's just got corner after corner. <laughs> and to tell you, it's, it's comfortable, guys. I would imagine most cruises are comfortable. This is the first one I've ridden, so I don't really have anything to base it off of. And it is, I mean, for as heavy as it is, which I'm not sure what the weight is, but I'll throw it in here somewhere for you guys as to uh, how much it weighs. It feels really light in the corners. Like, it's almost effortless, effortlessly to get it to look. I'm just like, hardly any, any push. I mean, just like thinking about it and it just like okay you want to go that way no problem you just dip dip <laughs> well look at all the pine needles it looks like dirt guys but it's not it's pine needles and this is what i was telling the guys about was the pine needles is to be careful about the pine needles because you get that under your tires and you, you those of you that ride know pine needles are like next to ice for traction <laughs> Such a beautiful day. Summer's coming to an end, guys, and I mean, what better way to spend it than on a borrowed motorcycle that's brand new? Um, I mean, it's not like brand spanking new off the showroom floor, but it's new, man. I, it, it, they don't get much newer than this when you're borrowing them from your buddy. And it's good buddies like that that are the ones they have. Not that the, they let you borrow their bikes or anything, but they're 
they're kind enough or whatever the word is I'm looking for that are trusting enough to know that I'm not going to take his bike and tear it up and put it into the side of the mountain or shoot it off the side or whatever. Egg, egg. <laughs> oh. much the end we're up at the top do a walk around of this bike guys let you let you see it let's put her in neutral so I don't make a fool of myself God, that sound right. so there it is guys you see the 80 on the side Good looking bike. Bugs on it and all. A little bellows dragon. Stuff like that. The exhaust system. It's a nice bike guys. If I was into a cruiser and I was wanting something that wasn't gonna cost me an arm and a leg, probably definitely look at the Yamaha Striker guys. Well thanks for joining me on this video guys. I'm pissed and slap. Have a great day.